I'm Ricky Saias. I'm going to tell you how you can score this awesome gear, a cap and a shirt, all of it to represent our city. That's coming up, but first, the Lower Valley now has a renovated library, all because of quality of life bonds that you voted for. Library staff, city leaders, and neighborhood residents celebrated the reopening of the Judge Marcus branch. The library on Yarbrough has new carpet and improved circulation desk and self-serving automated checkout stations as well as lounging furniture. It's really important that you know we keep up with the times, that we give the, the community new things and improved things as the times change. So The seats are totally comfortable. <laughs> I really like just uh, being able to lounge on the, the little sofas. It's very important to have this thing open for the community so they can utilize it as, as best as they can. The library received about $400,000 worth of improvements. Another Lower Valley Library branch is set to reopen in the coming days. A ribbon-cutting celebration is set for the Sergio Troncoso Library on June 8th. The public is invited to see all of the new improvements at that branch on Alameda. Well, if you visit, live, or work in downtown or South El Paso, you'll need to be aware of some upcoming street changes starting the first week of June. Our partners at the Texas Department of Transportation have the details. Hi everyone, Lauren Macias Cervantes with TxDOT. Today we're out near our Border West Expressway project. Kansas behind me, Campbell in front of me. The project is nearing completion and that means some changes for some streets here in South El Paso. Campbell will become a two-way street from 7th to Border Highway with access in from and out to the westbound lanes of Border Highway. Kansas will become a two-way street from 7th to Border Highway Kansas, Santa Fe, and Mesa will permanently close at Border Highway, and Oregon will remain an in only. These changes are permanent because once the loop is complete, it'll be a full speed freeway. The first change, Campbell and Kansas into a two-way, and the closure of Kansas at Border Highway will be in effect by June 3rd. The Paisano interchange at Coles allows drivers to use newly constructed direct connector ramps to access the border highway to and from east of downtown. Our Border Highway Express project is scheduled to be completed by the end of summer and includes a mile-long bridge that runs along the U.S.-Mexico border and the city's first SPUI, or single-point urban interchange, at Executive Center Boulevard. Thank you, Lauren, for that important information. Once the Border West Expressway project is complete, TxDOT says it will become a toll road. The Animal Services Department needs your help saving lives. The center is in its busy season with a large number of animals coming into the shelter. The department is asking residents to think twice before bringing animals to the center. If you find kittens out in the community, the best thing to do is leave them. Their mom's probably out looking for food, and they're scared to come back because you're surrounding the kittens. The best chance for those kittens is if you leave them be and let their mom take care of them. If you find dogs or puppies out in your community, most likely they came from a house nearby. So you can come in, we can give the dogs and the, and the puppies shots if they're old enough, and we would like for you to take them back home. Other ways you can help animal services is by fostering kittens and pups. Visit the shelter's website to learn more about the foster care program. Business owners will have a chance to find out what changes will be coming when a new noise ordinance begins later this summer. The city is hosting five community meetings in different parts of town starting June 3rd. The business community is encouraged to attend and ask questions. These meetings will really help the business owners ask questions about their specific situations to allow us to give them the best um, advice moving forward. The new noise ordinance goes into effect August 26th. For more information on the meetings, visit our website, elpasotexas.gov. There was plenty of sound and sights at this year's Neon Desert Music Festival. As Your City in Five media specialist Jonathan Romo shows us, a record crowd and a new location made for a successful celebration of music. Pues los artistas que vienen, el ambiente, mis amigos, la verdad, es lo que me mueve aquí. From 
two, three years ago to now, it's just, uh, I feel like it's a huge difference, but for all the better. It is a big price, but with all like the add-ons, the longer set times, it's really cool and enjoyable. Thank you, Jonathan, for putting together that video. Looks like it was a lot of fun. Neon Desert, by the way, has been a part of downtown for nine years. Well, if you're looking for more music this summer, then look no further than Music Under the Stars. The annual outdoor music series starts June 9th and runs every Sunday until June 30th. The free concerts organized by the Museums and Cultural Affairs Department will be held at the Chamisal National Park. The city is providing even more summer jams for music lovers. Enjoy live music on the El Paso streetcar as you explore downtown from Segundo Barrio to Uptown. The unique venue takes place every last Thursday of the month as part of Last Thursdays. It begins May 30th. Music will be recorded live on the streetcar. It only costs $1.50 the price to ride the trolley. You can show how proud you are of our city by getting your hands on this awesome gear. There's a t-shirt that says El Paso. There's also a cap that says El Paso. All of this you can find on our website, elpasotexas.gov. All you have to do is click on the banner that says, Show Your Pride El Paso. For Jonathan Romo, who's behind the camera, I'm Ricky Saez. We'll see you next time on Your City in 5. Oh, 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 oh,